What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is the second part of my HHN speculation rumor map that's been already brought to our attention by none other than HHN horrors or nightmares. Pause if you like. That's the speculation for Hollywood. So, regarding Hollywood, according to this, we have a total of eight brand new mazes. Um, oh, technically seven and one tramp. The Hollywood version is different from the Orlando version when it comes to the first one regarding the Universal Monsters Mummy. Just the Mummy, no versus Wolfman. Um, I guess they want to defer themselves from, you know, Orlando. That's that's unique in its own way. I know John Murray's going to put his effort into this one because he says always put more effort into the Universal Monsters than any other mazes. Um, I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. I'm excited. And I'm very happy that the good old mummy gets himself a good old maze. It's been a long time since we've seen him get his own thing. And you know what? Every year I keep saying this, but I want my boy Gilman to get his own. We all want the creature of the Black Lagoon. But we ain't going to talk about that right now. Um, the second house here, it is the Evil Dead. Um, I know they've done the classic you know, movie, The Evil Dead. I think once before, if I'm not too mistaken, but it is, I've seen the movie, it's very unique, I like the way it starts off, the way it turns everything around real quick with just having a little cabin, but I'm very looking to afford it that one as well. Um, the third one, they call it Scarecrow, so anything that does with crops, cornfields, you name it, I'm all for it. Especially a scarecrow, because a lot of people see these things in the middle of the of the <clears throat> of the farms and just make fun of it, or it's just purpose just to scare off crows. But you never know; one might turn real, <laughs> like that one um, movie called Scary Stories. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, fourth, they have the weekend. Um, it's very unique. In a way, because I heard there was a rumor last year about the Billie Eilish getting her own house. So that the fact that the weekend's gonna get its own house this year, hopefully, fingers crossed. You know, hopefully it's not just a rumor. It will be very epic and stupendous. Uh, the fifth house will be Killer Clowns from Outer Space returning. Uh, to be honest with you, when this one came out a couple years ago, I was very happy. It was one of my favorite mazes of that year. Uh, not only because of the unique colors that it had, it was like too bright where you couldn't tell where they were coming from because it was very well done. And it was one of the mazes they put a lot of effort into it. So that was such a joy. I highly wish it does come back and it's going to be one hell of a killer clown. Uh, the next one's called Nope. Uh, I know Nope is related to Jordan Peele because that's one of the movies that he has been working on. It's already been a trailer out for it. I'm not sure if it's too early to put a brand new film, which they've done in the past, but not iterate it differently so that way people can still enjoy the film. Um, not too hyped about this one because I don't know what to expect, um, which is also a good thing and a bad thing. So number seven is La Llorona. This one, I think they've done it in the past before. It is good to bring it back so I can experience it because I never did in the last time it came out. Um, this is definitely one of those, you know, classic lores from, you know, me personally being Mexican. Um, my parents used to scare me all the time about this, that she's going to get me if I don't go to sleep. Or you will hear a willing woman, you know, crying about her dead children. So this one's going to be badass. It will be definitely up there for me if this comes into relation, because I do want to see a brand new iteration of it. And number seven, the terror trap. Uh, Hollywood Harry. I remember when we had Hollywood Harry a couple years back, it was very cool having a clown and giving it a backstory where he just started as just a regular clown for Universal and then he was mistreated, fired. So he came back with revenge, bringing out his sadistic side to haunt everyone who went in the tram route. Uh, so this is going to be definitely generally one of my top tier ones as well, which I'm very ecstatic. So those are my initial thoughts on these brand new speculation maps version one by Horror Night Nightmares. So you can find him on Twitter as well. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. 
It's been a minute, but I'll definitely be back with more content. Feel free to stay tuned. As always, every day is a brand new memory, so make the best of it. Ozzy out.